Aaron Volkman with the Software Engineering Institute in the CERT division. And I'm here to show you a uh, application security tool called Gauntlet, which uh, wraps other command line tools and allows us to write tests in an expressive manner, test cases that use various command line security tools, as well as parse their output in a standardized way uh, in order to build up a test suite of dynamic security tests on an application that could be incorporated into an automated, automated DevOps-like pipeline in our continuous integration, continuous deployment, continuous delivery environment. Um, the tool that I'd like to show off is Garmer, which, is, which performs various basic uh, web application security checks against a running web application. Uh, here in the, our dot attack file, which is a gauntlet attack file where we define our attack, we define our target URL where we're going to uh, throw our attacks with Garmer at. Uh, this can also be extracted as a parameter so that this same attack file could be used to execute the same tests in multiple environments. Uh, we, here we specify the command line that's going to be run, Garmer-U with the target URL and also specify an output. And down here we have our criteria to uh, define what it uh, what criteria would make our test either pass or fail. Um, here this uh, syntax means the file that's output by our Garmer command line it's going to look for an XML node called HTTPS login form and look for a child node in XML called failure. Uh, and if it finds that then this path this test would fail and alert us. And just to show you what's being parsed here in the output XML, I have an example output XML file right here. Um, down here, uh, we it runs several tests. Each one of these test cases is a uh, generic check that Garmer uh, comes with out of the box. And the one that we're gonna look for with Gauntlet is this HTTPS login form. And we see here that this is a run where the test actually failed and said, you know, there are log enforced point to insecure locations. Uh, so what we want is Gauntlet to run this and then look for a failure here under HTTPS login form and then fa fail that uh, command line execution so that we could uh, capture the non-zero exit code and uh, fail some sort of automated process that would then automatically notify you know the the developers or whoever needs to fix this. I'm going to go ahead and alt tab over to my terminal window and uh, go ahead and run this with the command line gauntlet space final garmer dot attack which is what I uh, just showed you uh, earlier. Let me go ahead and run that and then we see here that we see red, which is the universal symbol for bad in things like these usually. And we see here that uh, we ran one scenario and one failed, and that's because uh, in our HTTPS login form element in our output XML, it found a failure node beneath that. So what we'd be able to do is uh, capture this and be able to you know bubble up some sort of failure uh, and you know, execute this uh, every single time we create a new build of our environment in a, uh, you know, a DevOps uh, enabled pipeline style uh, development testing and deployment environment. Well, that's about all I have to show you. Thank you very much. And again, this is Aaron Volkman at the Software Engineering Institute in the CERT division. Thank you. Bye-bye.